Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome to a map showcase. Today, I'm going to be showcasing the map that my survival started on. Fun Skyblock. So, I am the creator of this map. I built it all. I'm going to be pretty much telling you about it. And there's going to be a download link in the description. You can only download it if you have an Xbox 360, though, and if you know how to. And... So basically, this is the world that my survival started on, and I'm going to be showing you why you might want to download it, and why you might want to start a survival on it yourself. So, let's begin. When you spawn in the world, you'll probably spawn down here in the void. You'll spawn, like, right down here at the bottom, and you'll be like, what? Why, why am I down here? Everything's up there. So what you'll just have to do is I'll show you, kind of in survival mode, if you just kill yourself, like, over and over until you eventually respawn up on the island. So this this could take a little while, but basically what happens is every time you respawn, you, you have a chance of respawning up on the island. So yeah, when you spawn in, just kill yourself many, many times with the lava. And if eventually, as you can see, now I spawned up on the island. So that's how you start it without host privileges or anything. And so when you get up here, this is the traditional Skyblock Island. It's the... It's got the one tree. It's actually not totally traditional, though. It's got the one tree. So you've got one oak tree. If you lose this thing, you're... You failed. So... And then you've also got the little chest. And this chest should have a bucket of lava in it, but it doesn't. So in this chest, you'll find a bucket of lava, two ice, a bed, a dispenser, and a lever. And what... So normally... Apparently, you can place the lava, but... Um... What normally it would say is that you you cannot place here because it's the world spawn. So what you would do is you'd get out the dispenser and place the lava with that. That's why I have a dispenser in here. And also you get two ice and a bed. So you can make like all your traditional skyblock stuff. The island is one layer of grass. And there's not much grass in this world, so you better be careful with it. You've got two layers of stone. And one layer of bedrock. So that's really nice. You don't have to worry about a creeper blowing up your entire island. Because there's always going to be that thin layer of bedrock. So you never have to worry about that. And then once we get, once you advance a little on this island. You might want to start branching off. To these other islands we have around. We have a nether island in the center. This is probably uh, one of the more difficult places to go. Because there will be two named zombie pigmen. As you can see there's that little dot above his head. That is making it so he never despawns. So these two zombie pigmen are going to... Did one of them just run off the edge? Wait a minute. Oh, wow. One of them just fell off the edge. So, there should be some pigmen up there. So, just don't attack them and you should be fine. And you may notice... Wait, how am I supposed to start a portal? I don't have any iron or... Oh, bye. Gravel. So, in order to get to the nether, you'll have to venture off to all the different chests. There's some different chests at all the corners of the map. They all hold different items that can be of use to you. Um, and then also, this nether portal brings you to, like, a nether chest in the nether. And for some... The portal's glitched because of the most recent update, but this will bring you to a nether, a floating island with lots of ghasts around. So you gotta be really careful. You gotta rush in here and grab everything in this chest. I'm not showing you any chests on purpose. It, they're all gonna be a surprise. Um, when you download the map. And... So normally that nether portal would not be lit. You would have to literally light it yourself. That's how you break a nether portal. And so then we have a few other islands. We have the end portal to the left of it. So this is the end portal. It's your end goal to go to. And you'll just have to kill enough endermen. And um, you'll have to find some blaze rods in some of the chests to get here. And then you can go to the end and kill the ender dragon. And then we have, we, we have chests in all four corners of the map. We also have a second Skyblock Island directly across from the first one. So in case you wanted to play co-op with other people, this island has the same stuff except without the dispenser and lever because this is no longer the world spawn over here. And then also from this island, there's one more island, this big weird floaty thingy, this big um, stone ball. And in here it's just filled with ore. So as you can see, lots and lots of ore. And if you have TNT, which you probably don't, you can do this. And watch it go boom. 
So this is like your only source of diamonds as, let's see, is this every single ore? This should be every single ore that you can see. There's a little bit of obsidian in the center. You've got nether quartz, lapis, diamond, gold, um, redstone, emerald, coal, iron. Everything you'd ever need is found right in here. And this is your only source of it. So once you run out of that stuff, you're out for good. So you've definitely got to be careful. And that's about all there is to show for this map. There is nothing special built in the end, it's just the traditional end. And it also, this map does have the void, and that's, I think that's just really cool, but if you play on Xbox 360, never open a map above the void because it will crash your game. And so that's just a good thing. Also, when you spawn in this map, it will be nighttime. So you will, you can sleep right away and set your spawn on this main island. That's why we have a bed in here. So you could, you, because, Honestly, I just, you don't want to every single time you die have to kill yourself over and over and over in the lava. But that is all there is to show for this map. I hope you guys, if you know how to download maps, do decide to download this one because it is quite a fun, challenging survival. And I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.